Hey everyone, this is James with SCW's product team. And today, um, In the Trenches. In the Trenches is going to be a brand new video series where I try to cover more in-depth topics within the security camera um, ecosystem, uh, demystify some stuff and um, give a little bit more in-depth information on these topics. So without further ado, let's talk about our first episode, which is lens, resolution and field of view. And we're gonna be talking about how that all answers the age old question of how far can I see? What's my coverage? Um, that's the number one question we get from new buyers at SCW. And I'm hoping that this will answer some of these questions um, as well. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, so we'll talk about what is resolution, um, how resolution is measured and why it's important. We'll talk about why lenses, how lenses are measured and why that's important. We'll talk about when lenses are more important than resolution and when resolution is more important than lenses. Uh, we'll also talk about field of view and we'll of course talk about coverage as well. So let's talk about what is resolution. So according to Wikipedia, the definition is image resolution is the detail in image holds. Resolution is measured in pixels. A, one pixel is a tiny square of information within a image. Um, as you're searching for security cameras and everything like that, you're gonna find the term megapixel a lot. Uh, that's for your camera on your smartphone, as well as a security camera. Well, one megapixel is 1 million pixels. Um, the higher the resolution in general, the more detail an image will have. And I've got a big asterisk here. Um, and that's because that's only true when you're comparing apples to apples cameras, uh, when you have the same lens, everything like that. And we'll talk about that, of course, in a little bit more detail later on. A couple of terms you may see for resolution, like 1080p, like maybe your older TV. Um, 1080p is two megapixels, so two million pixels. And your newer TV, you, that's probably a 4K TV. That's actually eight megapixel. Um, some of the other common security camera resolution you're gonna see are four megapixel, which is sort of the in-between there. And then also five megapixel is fairly common out there as well. All right, so what I've got here is a comparison photo of um, three of our bullet cameras. These have a four millimeter lens, so they share a very similar field of view. So this is a very apples to apples comparison. Um, these people are standing about 20 to 25 feet away from the camera. Um, and at 20 feet, we can start to see some of the detailed differences at uh, 1080p or two megapixel. You know, things are still doing pretty good here. 1080p um standing up pretty strong uh four megapixel we're starting to see a little bit more detail of course you start to see a little bit more um clarity of the the license plate although all three of these are pretty legible and then you get up to the eight megapixel and you can start to see even more detail we're seeing some individual wrinkles sorry jerry and then um you know mustache goatee a little bit more detail there um, but at 20 feet, 25 feet, you know, 1080p is going to be a, a good choice for you because um, you're not going to be storing quite as much data with 1080p, um, but you're still going to reach that. So if you're only looking to cover about 20 to 25 feet away from the camera, you know, 1080p is probably a very good option and maybe the first thing you can to consider. But if you jump over to the 50 feet side of things, um, we'll start to really see the difference between these three camera models. Um, you know, 1080p was standing up pretty good at 20 feet, but it is no longer standing up that well 50 feet away. Um, you can't make out a single digit of that license plate. You can kind of see, I mean, his face is, you're not gonna be able to identify somebody based on that. Um, four megapixel stand up just a little bit better. You can start to reach the details. You maybe if you squint you buy, and, and you're in good light, you might be able to make up for it, but it's really on the edge. You really, four megapixel, you look at 40 um feet in in real terms of effectiveness you can still get a good idea of who this person is you can see i can still make out that he has a mustache and goatee and everything like that that he's got long hair um, but the eight megapixel is still very strong here uh, we've got license plate afc 2705 we can see details um, a lot with a lot more um, clarity than we could with either of these so Let's talk about the takeaways from this. So it's simple, right? More resolution is better. Again, not quite, we'll cover that in a second. Um, more resolution is better only if the lenses are comparable. So in that war comparison, it mattered because they're two of the same four millimeter cameras, or three of them, excuse me. 
uh, lenses play a key role and sometimes in an even more important role than resolution. So let's talk about lenses. So how are lenses measured? Well, they're measured in something called focal length. Focal length is the uh, little mm or the millimeter indicator that you see after a lens. So um, the bigger the, the focal length, the, the larger the number, the smaller the field of view is generally going to be. And the larger the focal length number, the further you zoom in. Um, so in, in the security camera industry, 2.8 millimeters is generally regarded as an ultra wide camera, while 12 millimeters is generally considered a short telephoto um, camera. Um, SCW sells cameras that reach all the way up to 150 millimeters. Um, for example, the Sharpshooter is a two, mil, two megapixel at 147 millimeters. Uh, that, that camera can actually identify a face up to 800 feet away. So, and that's primarily and entirely actually because of that 147 millimeter lens. Um, so let's give a, a field of view and lens comparison here. Uh, so this is our scope 8.0. It's looking at this facility, which is about 300 to 400 feet away from us across the street. Um, and at 59 degrees, it's covering a lot of area because it is far away. Um, but then you go ahead and we compare, I zoomed in on this truck here, which is just here. Um, and now you can see the difference. This is a three degree field of view and all the images is just this little tiny section that would bend over here. Um, I've also created a little 100% crop as well of the license plate here. So you can see, because when you crunch down a little for a 4K image into this little box, you're not really gonna see. And also, um, you know, you're probably looking at maybe on a smaller screen, everything like that, a little harder to see those things, those details. Um, but you can really see um, the difference in field of view between 59 and three degrees. So what is field of view? Uh, well, field of view is the extent of the observable world that is seen at any given moment. That's a very poetic way of saying field of view is basically what's measured off the camera. Um, field of view is measured in degrees. So you'll see like 85 degrees. That means it's 85 degrees off the, off the lens. Um, and field of view is determined by two things. It's obviously determined by the lens and the focal length, but also sensor size. So generally the larger the center of the camera, the higher the field of view will be. That's why if you're looking at and comparing other security cameras around the world, um, you'll see that uh, 2.8 millimeters is um, going to be different on some of them. Some of them may only be 85 degree angle view and some of them may be 110. And that's just because that one with 110 degree field of view has a larger sensor. Um, so another thing to consider with field of view, it doesn't just equal your real world, real world coverage. So we'll go into that. I wanna bring up another comparison here as well. So we see um, we get the Warrior 8.0 and from our previous comparison, but we also added three other new models. Uh, the Viking is at 12 millimeters. This is a four megapixel camera and it's currently at 27 degrees field of view. Um, the Gladiator is 12 millimeters as well but it's eight megapixel and it's a 35 degree field of view. So very similar to this one. And then we have our Archer two megapixel camera, which has that 47 millimeter lens. Um, that's a nine degree field of view and it's um, 50 feet away. Uh, so the first thing you probably are gonna notice obviously is that this one is significantly clear. We're starting to see individual hairs on um, Jerry's head here. So um, as you go down though, you see that 50 feet, all of them actually do pretty well. Even this fixed lens 4K camera, that's covering a lot of ground at 86 degree field of view, um, but it is still um, sticking with, uh, you know, the license plate, everything like that. Um, and as you go up, these two are very good comparisons because they're both um, 12 millimeter lenses and you can see the difference in resolution, you know, just wrinkles and stuff like that are obviously a lot more clear with the eight megapixel one than the four megapixel. Um, Let's move over to 100 feet away where we start to really, again, see some of the difference. So at, at 100 feet away, the Viking is no longer, you know, we're not seeing any real details on the license plate. Uh, we still see, you know, some face details, stuff like that. So that may be like in the recognized, um, you know, area. Uh, but the glider is still sticking pretty strong here at 100 feet away. We get, we still see the license plate. We start to still, we still see, excuse me, the um, goatee and the, 
hair, and um, you know that's a, that's a pretty legible image for uh, security use. Um, and then, but still, for the ultimate hundred foot, um, we look at the archer here, and we're still seeing uh, amazing clarity with this. You know, this is practically a um, glamour model shot here of Jerry. So we can see the license plate, the um, goatee, everything like that very clearly. So here's some of the interesting points about this comparison. So because of the Warrior, even though it's a fixed lens camera at four millimeters, um, 86 or so degree field of view, um, it has a similar um, clarity level at distance um, over the Viking 4.0. And that's just because of that resolution, even though, again, the Warrior is three times wider than that Viking when it's zoomed in. Um, the Viking's plate at 100 feet that for the four megapixel version of Viking is no longer legible, but the eight megapixel one or the Gladiator one would be as well. So eight megapixel obviously trumps the four megapixel there. Um, but again, the Archer, even though it is the lowest resolution compare, camera we compared there, the, the lens trumped it all um, because it has that 47 millimeter lens with nine degrees field of view coverage. Um, so what's our takeaways from this as you're potentially building out your security security camera system. Well, for general surveillance applications, so if you're just looking at a, uh, you want a parking lot camera that looks at a very big area, you're not looking at any individual, you know, rows or anything like that, or you're looking at your yard or um, stuff like that, or get general campus, you know, uh, resolution is probably going to be more important there because you want as much coverage as you, as you can get while not sacrificing um, distance. Um, however, or if you're looking for more specific or um, application focused one, so if you have like a gate or an entrance way, maybe uh, 200, 300 feet away, that's where your lenses really start to matter more than your resolution, as we saw with the Archer. Um, another takeaway, as I mentioned earlier, 25 feet, you know, 1080p is probably going to do the job for you. Consider that um, while, you're, while you're hunting and you can mix and match cameras uh, resolution on most security camera systems, obviously, including ours. Um, and the other general rule of thumb with this is the wider the field of view, the more resolution matters, whereas the narrower the field of view, the less resolution matters, again, as we saw by the Archer. Let's also talk about coverage now. Um, so you probably care like about your coverage, what you're going to see and everything like that, not necessarily all these resolutions, field of views and stuff like that, right? Well, coverage is a combination of camera's field of view plus height and position. Um, so the higher the camera is, the more coverage you're gonna get. Whereas, um, you know, if you have a camera lower, you're not gonna get as much coverage. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. It also depends on how the camera's pointed. So if you're pointing a camera straight, um, obviously you're gonna see more of the horizon, but you're gonna have some blind spots potentially down here. Whereas if you point it camera down, you're gonna see more of this area below. Um, but you're going to uh, see less of the horizon. So um, that's another factor to consider as well. And um, with, within coverage, your field of view only matters if really they're at the same height and position. Um, let's go ahead and look at a comparison here. So, so this is a 35 degree field of view. This camera is pointed straight. Um, so you can see we're looking at probably about 75 to 100 feet, if I recall that area correctly. Um, and so our coverage is, is pretty small for that um, field of view, even though it's not that wide because the camera is mounted straight and it's kind of level with the license plate. Um, let's compare it to another 35 degree field of view, which is mounted just a little bit higher than our, um, our Gladiator there. And this is a picture from the moon. Um, so we're seeing this is actually a 35 degree field of view and we're actually getting coverage of continents. So that is a lot of coverage. Um, obviously, detail is sort of low, not going to be able to pick up a face down here, um, but it is a lot of coverage. Um, obviously, a little bit more of a real world comparison here for you guys um, is the Sheriff 4.0. This is a 2.8 millimeter lens. It gives you 101 degree field of view. Um, this is mounted six feet from the concrete down here, um, but we also have that scope camera, same one I showed you looking at the, um, the truck earlier. And that's a 59 degree field of view when it's fully zoomed out and I positioned it down so you can see. 
Um, but if you notice, real, if you look really closely, you'll see that these are covering a very similar amount of overall ground, real world coverage, um, even though that the sheriff has a uh, 40 degree wider field of view. So you can see, um, you know, this little thing here, we see it here. And obviously I can't see the below because we have a awning there. But, um, you know, if, it, if there wasn't one there, I'd be able to see the entranceway too. So that's how much that um, 14 feet of extra height matters. Um, it's to the point where um, a, a 60 degree, not even a wide camera is out um, giving you more coverage actually than the wide angle camera. So please consider that when you're mounting and you're planning out your security camera application because you don't want to think you have more coverage than you do and end up leading to blind spots. All right, guys, before we wrap up, I did want to throw in a quick slide basically answering the question, do you need a 4K display in order to appreciate a 4K camera? And the answer is no, because um, when you're looking at a security camera, what you care about in terms of resolution is the detail that image provides. And you can see that detail the image provides in playback when you do a digital zoom in on the image. Um, so regardless of whether you're looking at that on your old little laptop or your small little smartphone screen, um, you're still going to be getting that 4K resolution when you look at the playback um, or if you take a snapshot or whatever, that's all gonna be there. Remember how we compared those four warrior models earlier in the presentation, that is basically the equivalent of digital zooming. So just wanted to answer that and demystify that just a little bit. Uh, but our conclusion today is resolution, lenses, and camera placements are part of the coverage formula. And how far I can see that age-old question within the security camera industry wildly depends on those factors. Um, the nice thing is that even if some of this stuff didn't quite um, click and you still have some questions, SCW can work with you to help pick the right cameras for the job. Uh, we do free floor plans and free consultations to help you make sure you get the right amount of coverage and um, you know, if you have a if you have a camera that's looking at a gate 200 feet away, we know what camera to recommend and everything like that. So if you have questions and you're looking for a system, go ahead and give us a call. It's 828-483-4237. You can also go to our website at www.getsew.com. Um, no obligation, no cost for these um, calls. So feel free to reach out to us, and we'll be glad to help. If you have any other questions, certainly read, leave a comment on the video. I uh, hope that you found this useful and we'll see you now on the next episode of In the Trenches.